Angela Kim from the Squishy Monster TSM on YouTube and today I'm going to show y'all how to do a French press. I don't drink coffee often but when I do this is how I do it and it pairs so perfectly with some coffee cake. And if coffee isn't your thing you could try some Pero, some Yerba Mate or even some chai which I have a recipe for. To begin, I've set some cold filtered water to boil, and if you want to get technical, you want it to allow it to reach the range of 195 to 205. In the meantime, let's talk about our beans. For the grinds, you want something coarse and uniform, and you can definitely achieve this at home with a burr grinder, or finer if you want a thicker pour. But this is how I like it, and also you can just go ask for a barista to do it at a reputable coffee shop, and they can do it for you, just like I did. Just make sure it's fresh, and I just got my favorite fair trade coffee. If you're getting whole beans, just keep it intact before you're ready to use it. If you're concerned about cracking your glass, you can swirl a bit of warm hot water, warm or hot water, into the glass just so it can get acclimated to it, and this will prevent it from shattering or cracking. You'll need about one to two tablespoons per cup, and depending on your taste, Julie, really, but I like about two grams per 28 grams of water. I let my water sit for a couple minutes right after it was taken off of the heat, and I want to slowly pour my water and allow it to balloon. And I'll show you how I skim off the excess fine grounds on top. I'm just going to wait a moment. After several moments, your coffee will bloom and a swollen cake will kind of rise to the top. And I'm just taking a spoon and just skimming off any of the fine grounds on top. This will prevent over extraction. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. I feel like it just contributes to a cleaner mouthfeel. After about four minutes has elapsed, you can give it a quick stir, and then you want to plunge slowly. That's really important, to plunge really, really slowly, so just go down there really, really, kind of like slow motion style, and this will encourage better saturation and retain more natural oils and also contribute to a full immersion technique that elevates the aromatherapy aspect as well. So just make sure you don't leave any in the press afterwards as it continues to steep and get better. And there's your perfect cup of French press coffee. Mm -hmm.